we won't let you sweep us under the rug. And we have to always remember every family matters, every case matters, every protest matters because it helps the next person get a little more justice. Civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump back in Minneapolis tonight as the city prepares to mark one year since George Floyd's death tomorrow. Crump joining together with the families of those killed by police across America. It was all part of a panel discussion focusing on racial equality. Our Rob Olson joins us live tonight. Rob, changes in policing was a big focus of this conversation this afternoon. Yeah, actually two panel discussions this afternoon, another one this morning, uh, focusing really on what has happened here in the year since George Floyd took his last breath. What work needs to be done, how to get that done, and what stands in the way. Not once have I had somebody come up to me and say, hey, Mrs. Wright, what do you want from us? Katie Wright, the mother of Dante Wright, killed now six weeks ago by then Brooklyn Center Police Officer Kim Potter, was asked what she wants from supporters and answered that in her experience so far, too many have their own agenda that they often feel used instead of supported. When we're sitting at home crying and mourning our child after we're, you know, all alone, when it only seems like people are around us and want to support us when there's a camera in our face. Katie found herself in the middle of a panel discussion that knows her pain far too well. Others who've lost loved ones at the hands of police. With what makes me angry, someone said it, so many people are making money off my son's death. What brought them all together was the George Floyd Foundation, part of marking one year since his murder. I've seen a lot of bone throwing from lawmakers. They discussed keeping up the pressure to reform police, not only their actions, but the laws that seem to protect them. I mean, how, how in the world could you be a threat if you being shot in your back? You running away. To keep pushing the media to focus not only on the high profile cases. And I want the country to start treating all these cases as high profile and not just another news story to keep pushing politicians to do more than offer verbal support, but start passing meaningful reforms. Just as we're weeding and seeding out the racist cops, we got to weed and seed out the racist politicians. My heart breaks because unfortunately, with all the baby steps that they're taking, who's to say there's not going to be another Dante? A lot of ground covered in these discussions, but again, these are discussions about what can be done from here how to do them, and uh, really uh, what, what prevents you from moving forward. This, of course, on the eve of the one-year anniversary of George Floyd's murder last year. That's tomorrow, and there'll be a full slate of events planned throughout the day, and Fox 9 will be covering them all and bringing them to you tomorrow. Much of it live. Live in Minneapolis, Robles, Fox 9.